So a couple of days ago, as many people woke up, fired up Twitter while they had their morning coffee and found that a number of accounts were posting what appeared to be Nazi propaganda. Jumping to obvious conclusions, this either meant that either Twitter or the users had been compromised somehow, the people were actually showing their true colours, or a communications disruption can mean only one thing, invasion. It turned out that a third party provider called Twitter Counter had been compromised. As a result, the attackers could then send out tweets from the accounts of users that had enabled Twitter Counter to access their Twitter account. So this meant that even if users used a password that was long, complex, not written down and unique, and they'd enabled two-step verification, it wouldn't have made a difference. Now, third party services like this are very common and the question then becomes, do you not trust any of them at all? And well, the answer isn't quite so simple because we trust third parties all the time, every day. Like the offline equivalent of trusting a valet with your car to go and park it. Now they may do that, they may go and park it sensibly, but if they don't look after the keys, then no matter how good your anti-theft system is on your car, anyone could swipe the keys and make off with your car. So therefore, it's important to exercise caution. Now, the risk isn't just restricted to Twitter users. It applies equally to any other service and indeed to enterprises and businesses alike. There have been many cases over the years where large companies have been breached because their third party was compromised or another company along their supply chain. So whether you're an individual or a business, take a look at all the data system and apps that third parties have got access. Then take a look at all the permissions that these things actually need and say, well, is this really needed to get the job done? Does the Torch application on your phone really need access to all your contacts? Also try to establish how a third party intends to use the data it gains from you. Obviously it's providing you with a service, but what's in it for them? How are they gonna use it? Are they gonna share it elsewhere? What security controls do they have in place? Finally, don't stop. This isn't a one-time exercise. This is something you need to keep on going, regularly review who has access to what, why, and whether it's appropriate. Stay secure, my friends.